So the first question is what kinds of ideas can you explore and develop in your painting that you're unable to do in your music? Well, the practicality is, is that once a song is done and released, you really can't take it back. Is I, you know, some of these paintings hanging in here are, have been in the works for 15, 20 years. So uh, that's one thing you can accomplish, is that you can go back and, and you can keep working on stuff. And consequently, I think I made something beautiful out of a bunch of stuff I didn't like. Well, you know, it's, it always begs the question that, um, and you hear this from a great many artists, that a painting is always in the process of becoming, right. you know? And it must be a difficult to just kind of send your child out into the world, so to speak. But you have to make that decision at some point, right? So it's all the same business. It's just problem solving. How do you solve this problem? You go up to a canvas, you create your problem, and you try to solve it. Uh, inspiration is a wonderful thing, and I, I'm inspired all the time, uh, but I have a hard time making my inspirations applicable to my ability. My ability doesn't allow me to do it. It happens on canvas, it happens in song. You know, I, when I feel sorry for myself and I'm complaining to people, I will say I'll never reach my full potential. My life won't be long enough for me to get as good as I thought I should have gotten and that's in song, and that's on canvas. I just realized that I, I'm, I'm never going to reach my full potential as a human being with the talent that I've been given. I'm just not going to do it. Roosevelt was the best president we ever had. He, he had 12 years in the White House. It should be that way. A guy should be able to be president for as long as he can be elected. And these senators and, 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 these, and these representatives, they should be allowed four years as an honorary position. So you are the representative from this community for four years and you do. So you, special interests can't buy you off the, because you're representing the, these people. And in four, day, four years, you know you're done. You know, what do you care? Because you've you're got, you got to come back home. And that's the way it should be. A guy should be able to be president as long as he can be president. As long as the people want him. The same way Roosevelt was. Uh, when Cartier-Bresson was asked, what is your art? Some guy asked what your art is, the Cartier-Bresson. And uh, Cartier, uh, thought a minute and he said, you know, my art lies where I identify what I want to do and when I hit the click on my camera. In the space there is where I identify my art. So at what point, creatively, do you know that you're on to something? Well, I like things to be a surprise. Uh, I always like to be surprised. I just made a new record called Plain Spoken. And every one of these songs were channeled to me. I don't even know what they're about. I don't even know what they're about. Now, once I play these songs 80, 90 times, I'll know what the song is about. But songs like The Isolation of Mister, I got a good idea what that's about, Troubled Man, I got a good idea. But there are songs that I know that Tennessee Williams channeled me. I know there's songs that Faulkner channeled me. I know I sound crazy, <laughs> but it's true. You get, you know, you, your mind is open to information coming in. But most people just let those thoughts go. Well, I've never let those thoughts go since I was 17. So that's what I do. I take those thoughts and live with those thoughts for years and years. You know, uh, the truth of the matter is, is that I never could figure out why in the world anybody would want to live in the middle of Florida. <laughs> it's the middle of Florida. There's no ocean. It's hot. It's buggy. You know, why would you want to live here? But when I drove into town, I was, I was so happy that I didn't say anything because I, I, my, my impulse, I'm a big mouth, you know. My impulse was, why would anybody want to live in the middle of Florida? But I drove into town and I thought, wow, look at this architecture. Look at this. Look at this. They've, they, they've maintained their downtown. And then, you know, I met a few of the people and uh, 
uh, I kind of have a girlfriend, and I kind of said to, to, to Peg, I said, you don't believe the little town I'm in right now. I would have never expected this town to be in the middle of it.